On this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up the CSI Crime Game Booster Pack number two. It's better than ginseng. Scott vs. Box! Box! This is the CSI Crime Game Booster Pack number two. Where's Booster Pack number one? Still in the stores, don't want it. Where's booster pack number three? Still in Africa, can't find it. Where's booster pack number four? They probably never made one. So, I open up the CSI game previously, annotation, and uh, this goes with it. This is to make it even more exciting and uh, uh, arrogant. Look at these people. Uh, yeah, what of it? I look like Todd Glass, who cares? And me, I look like Rob Reiner. I've got glasses. And, hey man. Just, just being cool. I was in Twilight, or if not, I should be, because I'm pale and weird. Uh, so we got all this. It includes House Built on Lies, good. Removed from Office, uh, all about Steve Carell, and Writer's Block. You know, when they, um... I don't know, I can't figure it out. Ages 13 and up, yippee! I'm almost there. Uh, then we see, oh, a little bit right there, look at the blood. There's blood on a thing. Uh, so gameplay. Two to four players, if uh, they'll ever be friends with you and play again. CSI board game, Encore Edition. Uh, three CSI cases, nine disclosure cards, 25 evidence and suspect cards, CSI handbook with crime scene photos. Oh boy, murdery things. Uh, description solutions, rules, and glossary. One oh, arrest warrant pad. Well, that's going to come in handy. Uh, hmm. Who should I arrest? Who should I arrest? Mr. T and one 12 sided die. All right, cool. Let's get at it. Yeah. Okay. So let's see all this stuff inside. Let's see if it will indeed boost and make things more exciting. What do I open this thing? A pion. All right. Stuff and things. And this, whoa, what the heck? Look at this. What? That? All right. That, well, that's what that does. Okay. Handbook. Oh, jeez. I play by my own set of rules, coppers. Uh, all right. Uh, we got a thing. Table of contents. Boy, that's fun. New. Uh, Sarah Seidel. Horja Fox. Oh, it's telling me the character names and then the actors that play them. So let's take a look at Greg Sanders. Old Eric Sazamanda. Ever since picking up his first chemistry set as a kid, Greg knew he wanted to be a scientist. After graduating Phi Beta Kappa from Stanford, Greg was a lab technician at the San Francisco PD before moving on to the LVPD crime lab. Eager to please and entertain, Greg entertains... Oh, nope, sorry, he's not an entertainer. <laughs> Ooh, little faux pas. Greg enters all his pursuits with a great deal of wit and enthusiasm, including following his dream of conducting work in the field as a CSI. So exciting! Ugh, what is happening? I don't understand any of this. Gameplay, read a bunch. No, it's a TV show. Why would I read? Uh, there's a bullet on the die. Okay. Boy, this is comp- Oh, here we go. Pictures. Oh, this I can understand. Uh, he's looking and judging, uh, because there's a dead body right here. And he's like, what have you been doing? Have you been playing the CSI board game on top of the dead body? And not calling me down to play with you? Whoa! They love playing games and dead bodies, everybody. Oh, more cards. Yippee, more reading. Oh, man, who doesn't love crimes and reading? Uh, probably police investigators, honestly, because that's their whole job. That's what they do. That's just their thing. So, let's see. Let's see what some of these cards are. All right, so I got... Boy, these cards. Uh, there's the blood ones. Uh, it's just showing weird stills from the show. That guy's confused, and he's smoldering. Uh, there's, was that his skull? If he didn't have skin on it? And then they show, uh, that guy. Like, here's his beard, and here's him without a beard. That's the game. And then, black guy. Don't put anything on there, because then you'll be, uh, perceived as racist or intolerant. Uh, and then on the back, let's say this one. Say this aloud to all the players! It has often been said that politics is a blood sport. That's not fun. All right, let's look at this die, huh? Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, there's a skull. Oh, there's the guy without a beard on his face. There's a Las Vegas sign. That's a, I don't know, strand of hair, bullet, lollipop? I don't know. 
What are we? Okay, let's let's call it, everybody. What are we gonna get? I'm gonna say skull. Oh, it was the hair. Uh, and then this is the ooh arrest warrant checklist. Name a victim. Uh, Rocky Balboa. Victim's characteristics. Uh, he was a a stallion who was Italian. Name a suspect number one, Mr. T. Suspect characteristics, he uh, doesn't pity fools. Um, and then interrogation, uh, I asked him, he said no. Autopsy, ew, gross, didn't want to. Identification, he has to carry one at all times. Trace, uh, that's three. Ballistics, two of them. Forensics, uh, dead people. DNA, <laughs> not on my watch. Investigator's name, Scott versus Box. Opening up the booster pack full of boring, weird game stuff. And there you go, roll the die! Murder! Click here to subscribe, so that way you never miss out on another Scott vs. Box video. And send me something to this address right over here, I'll open it up, give you a free plug on the show. And click right over here to watch even more Scott vs. Box videos. If you don't do it, we're gonna have a problem. That's right, you and me step outside. Oh, outside. <laughs> I'm not comfortable out there. Well, clearly neither are you because we're watching YouTube together. <laughs> Let's stay indoors, huh? You want to make some popcorn? Let's make some popcorn!